welcome to the happy place. Thank y'all so much for being here today. I love, I love, I love your energy. And this energy today is insane. Do y'all feel it in the atmosphere? Because today is a very, very special day for us all. Yes, it is. And listen, I am so excited to tell y'all why. You want to know why, don't you? Why you want to know? Okay, well, let me tell you why you want to know. Because the cast of The Color Purple is here tonight. Yes. And I am just as excited as each and every one of you. Woo. Oh, my goodness. It's such an honor to have them all here at The Happy Place. Oh my goodness, I am dedicating today's entire episode to celebrating the cultural phenomenon that is the color purple, as it deserves. Our first guests are a force to be reckoned with. They're talented, they're beautiful, their groundbreaking new film is making history. From the cast of the color purple, y'all please get up, welcome. The amazing cast, welcome Fantasia Barino Taylor, Taraji P. Henson, Danielle Brooks, Felicia Pearl, and Posse, and the one and only Oprah Winfrey. It's just an honor to have all of you here. Of course, you, Oprah. For me, this is a full circle. Because the, the last interview I did with Miss, I call her Mama O, okay. was when I did the Dream Girls cast interview wow, with wow. you on the Oprah show. Wow. It blows And mind. look at you now! Yeah. Oh. But this ain't about me! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Now, Oprah, we want to get into this because we don't have a lot of time and we have too many icons right here and y'all screamed us down. So, <laughs> tell us, where, how did you come up with the idea to recreate the color purple in this way? It wasn't my idea. It was Scott Sanders who first had the idea to take it to Broadway. I couldn't imagine turning The Color Purple into a musical, mm. having done the original back in 1985. But Scott Sanders had the vision to do that. I then joined that production on Broadway. And when Scott said we should make it a movie, I was like, how are we going to do that, Scott? <laughs> and now we did it because Steven Spielberg, who yes. had the rights to the original, um, when I called him and said, we want to do this now, he said yes. And it is a reimagined. So everybody I know has your own ideas about what the color purple is, and you love it. So do I. We love the it. Original. We do. So do yes, I. Yes, we do. And this is, you know what? Someone, Edward Innenfull, who uh, runs Vogue, said to me the other day that it's like visiting an old friend in a mm. new space. Ooh. Mm. And that's Nicely exactly said. what happens. It's Nicely. like visiting an old friend in a new space, and you will be renewed and feel joyful. I will have to say there's a buoyancy and a joyful joyfulness to this reimagination that wasn't present in the first, mm. and that the music comes out of the spirit of the story. People aren't just singing to be singing. Mm -hmm. It comes out of the soulfulness of the story that's being told. And it has been my great, great, deep honor and pleasure to be able to work with you. Yes! <laughs> I mean, the color purple meant so much to me in my life, and to be able to see them have this moment is just one of the great rewards of I need my to some life. Tissue over. Yes. Hold the okay. light. Okay. Here you go. Right. I Here understand go. that every emotion. Mm -hmm. While yeah, I'm passing you. this tissue to yeah. all of you fabulous yeah, ladies, thank you. I want to know. We're family up here. I, I want to know, like, um, when you were cast. Tell me about that journey and experience. Well, I, I was like, why are we doing re Color Purple again? That's just dumb. And then, <laughs> but it was when Blitz called and said, and told me about um, his radical vision, yeah. reimagining of it. And I was like, oh my God, I have to be in this. And not only that, I mean, this is the first time that the, we own our narrative of mm -hmm. this incredible poem, like mm -hmm. Corey likes to say, that Alice Walker left with us. And so, um, I mean, I was like, oh my God, well, you mean we find joy in this one? Because that's who we are? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> and you play Shook. Yeah. I had big yeah. shoes to fill. Yeah. I dedicated my to Shook to today. To fill. <laughs> yeah. I was very nervous. I was incredibly intimidated. I had big shoes to fill, oh, and goodness. then I'm got to go sing with... With uh, Tasia over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she did. 
Thank you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, tell them who you play, Tasha. Okay, so I play Miss Seeley. Yes, yeah. 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 And Jay, you know, at first when they called, I said, I don't, I don't think I can do it. Yeah? Yeah, because, you know, I played Seeley twice on Broadway. Mm -hmm. I was much younger. Yes, you did. And playing her then, my life was a little crazy, so I felt like I was carrying my cross and her cross, mm. and that was heavy. Um, but again, Blitz called me and showed me that he was giving Celie an imagination. And that's when I said, I'm in. Because from the Broadway play and the movie, you have to almost think about what Celie's thinking about or how she's gonna get, but this movie shows you how she makes it through some of her things, and that's... That's how we are. Yes. When we go on through stuff, we imagine ourselves in a better place. Mm. When we get a little broke, we imagine ourselves with some smiles. Yes. Okay, Danny, listen. I haven't seen Jay. you since Color Purple. <laughs> I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Oh, my goodness. And you played Miss Sophie. You already know. <laughs> I know. Now that I know. <laughs> What was it like bringing it to the screen oh my from the gosh. stage? First of all, I had an incredible time doing that with you for a full year of our with lives. You. Yes, you know, with you too. so amazing. Thank you for that opportunity, yes, Oprah. But to get the call from the one and only, the goat of all goats, y'all, <laughs> Miss Oprah Winfrey, <laughs> making the call and passing I the did. baton. I did the call. Yes, that's you know you the goat of all goats, <laughs> um, which Thank means you. the greatest of all time. That's right. Um, but yes, it was an incredible moment, one I will never forget. I felt in that moment that I knew my life was about to change mm. playing this part and artistically as an actress. So, getting to play Sophia has been such a joy. Getting to do it from the theater now to film for the whole world to experience yes. all of these characters and this story in this way. It is time, it is the time right now for this story to be shared with you all. And you guys are telling it, yes you are. And Felicia, Felicia. this is, yeah. like, first of all, congratulations to you because this, I mean, you send up people with all these icons. Yeah. And this, <laughs> You remind me of me and Dreamgirl, so I kind of feel like I understand you, but I want to hear from you. How does it feel? How did you feel when you got the call, and what has this experience been for you? Well, unlike them, they told me no at first. Because <laughs> <laughs> really? I auditioned to play older Seely at first, um, and they just came back and said, do you not understand you read very young? You're mm. young. And I was like, but makeup, right? You can figure it out. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, and then I just released it. I was working in a writer's room at the time when I was going through the process, and I remember my team kind of did a group chat where I was like, are you free? And I was on Zoom and I was like, I need to go to the bathroom. Do you mind? I'll be right back. And then left and got a call. And the words that I was told was, you were the choice. Mm. And it felt so good to be cho oh, chosen by people. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Oprah. Yeah. You are the choice. Yes. And then you went to work right back up. And then I literally ran around the block screaming, went back to work. Okay, you had to get the scream out, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, y'all yep. stick around for a little bit. Oh, oh no. I love when the day is purple. More with the women of the color purple. We'll be right back. And we're back with the women of the color purple. Fantasia Barino Taylor, Taraji P. Henson, Danielle Brooks, and Felicia and Posse. And Mother O. Okay, in the house. I can't help but to call you Mother O. Okay, okay. Fantasia. Do you realize it's been 20 years since we were on American Idol? Woo! Do y'all understand that? Thank you. Now, for me, I said I hopped on that American Idol roller coaster and it's been running ever since. I never would have guessed. I would be sitting here oh, and y'all would be sitting here. Do you see this? Was that the, was that the, that was the finale. Okay, you remember the day they, when you won. At, no, the day they tried to put us all in the bottom three and we the were night. all standing. No, there. that wasn't then. This was the finale. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. I don't forget nothing. But that day, though, we all had the look on our face like, really? Yes. That, <laughs> yes. Now, that was when I went home during that season. But listen, what do you remember during that time? Working hard. Right. <laughs> we worked very, very hard. I also remember building great relationships and being around great gifts. So iron sharp sharpens iron. And just being around you guys, making a family, and being up every morning. Every morning. Away from our families, mm. but steady going because we, it was something that we all wanted. And now look. Thank Can you believe that? Yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah. And then, oh, Danny. <laughs> I can't uh, keep going. I can't help but to go back to the color purple because you was in my dressing room imitating me and I got a clip from it. Oh, too. you Y'all got to see this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
Hey y'all, I am Jennifer Hudson, aka Suge, Suge Avery, and you're gonna love me. If you come to see me in the color purple, I'm about to put on my ruby. Walter! Walter! I need to get my uh, mustard. Can you get my mustard, please? Thank you. That's my ruby roo. I got a hand for the sun. So much fun. There's a clip of you impersonating me really? too, but that's for another day. Okay. <laughs> well, that brings me to this. Oprah, what is it like seeing Danielle interpretation of Sophia? Oh, it's the best thing ever. Oh. You know, I wanted to be there specifically on the day that she did the iconic scene for me of, you know, you Joe Harpo to beat me. Yes. And I was, you know, sitting right with Blitz as she was filming that. And afterwards, we gave a big hug, and I said, the baton is officially She turned the torch to you, and you deserve that torch, baby. Uh, <laughs> did she, she did it. She made it her own, you know? She made it her yes. own. Yeah. She made it her thank own. Thank you, thank you so much. What was your preparation process? Did you consult with Oprah? Oh, yes, that's one of the first calls I made. I asked Scott Sanders, our producers, I said, do you think she'd mind talking to me? Because I was so shy when we did it in 2015 to go to you. Because mm. I just didn't want you to think I wanted anything from mm. you. I was just so nervous. But this time I was like, I got to call this woman. <laughs> and I did, and we talked for like a long time. And she shared stories with me and gave me encouragement and advice. And she prayed over me. Y'all, you know when Oprah pray over you. All right. Yeah. She got a direct line to God. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna be all right? Um, but yeah, so I'm very grateful she held my hand through this entire process, but also, you know, let me fly and do my own thing. And I'm just so appreciative of the way you handled me during this process. Oh, Thank baby you. Girl. It Thank paid you. off. Thank you. It paid off. It was destined. Because, Miss, Miss Taraji, you were the right sugar baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's like you embodied her so well. Thank you. May I just say, when you go to see this movie, you won't re realize it, but I was in the wings watching, and I saw all the dailies. This woman stepped up on that table 88 times. Oh, 88 times? 88 wow. times. The reason why I was icing my knees in between her, takes. <laughs> that thing was done 88 times wow. from every single possible angle over a two wow. day 88 Amazing. times. That's when I came to you and said, how are you, how you still doing this? I guess the adrenaline gets going, and it was a good time. Like, the cast was fun, the dancers. It was just a really good time. I felt like I was in a juke joint back in the 1920s. Yes. It really felt you like own it. That you know when you go, I wish I was alive back then? That was the moment that I felt <laughs> like, uh, you know, I had, I had that moment in time. It was beautiful. You brought it to life, because <laughs> I saw this. Y'all need to get out there and see it if you ain't. When it come out? Christmas Day. Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Yeah. Be there with bells on. OK, before we go, Felicia, I have to ask you, what was it like working with, seeing Fantasia and working with her, getting to, you know, have that experience with her? And then, do y'all think y'all look alike? I just had to throw that in there. What's crazy? <laughs> I've been told my whole life I look like Fantasia, and uh -huh. I've always been like, no, 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 no. And then yesterday, there was uh -huh. a scene where you turned your face, and I went, was that me? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I, she just was so gracious and so kind, and I feel like we really got to know each other as people, and I think that really helped inform and we have so much in common, even though we're from two very different walks of life. And I mean, I was on set whenever I wasn't filming, so I'd just be like in a corner like yes. this, watching her hand and watching her head tilt and just listening to her voice. I mean, anything that you sang, I listen to over and over again. And I mean, it's such a dream come true, just getting to study her. Uh, yes. Yeah. I just want to say that you know, you're on a lot of sets, you have a lot of working environments where people do their scene and then they're gone and that there's no contact. I mean, the sisterhood, the camaraderie, the love that you see here, mm -hmm. it's real. It Behind shows. the scenes, in everything that we've done, the support for one another is so real. And that comes through on the screen. Mm -hmm. When you see it, Christmas Day, you'll see Very it. right. All right. We're going more with the Women of the Color Purple. We'll be right back. We're back with the Women of the Color Purple. This audience saw the film and they loved it. I saw the film and I loved it. Mm. It's so amazing, y'all, and it's so powerful, like, to see the, the connection between women, mm. you know? And then it seems, uh, even sitting here with you all, it seems like you have such a strong bun. Taraji, like, what was that like for you all? Um, well, for me, 
Yeah, I'm a leading lady, um, so I know what it is to need support and how to support. And especially when you're dealing with something, the, the subject matter can be so dark. Yeah. You know, so there were moments on set when I, w I was watching her, and when I knew she didn't need to stay into it, I'd go over and make her laugh, you know, to lighten the mood a little yes. bit. And whenever they yelled as a rap, I was all in her face. Yeah. <laughs> so she could go home and, and, and leave Celia at home, because it's a lot when you're dealing with you know, um, so, uh, playing these characters. Because it's very spiritual what we do as actors. You're on the set, you have your chakras all open, you're allowing this character to use your body as a vessel. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so you have to learn how to flip the switch on and flip it off. Otherwise, it could drive you mad. Mm -hmm. You know, because you have your own, like she says it all the time, she has her cross to bear and then your character's cross mm -hmm. to bear. It's too mm -hmm. much, it can be too much. So I was trying to help her out with that a little bit. I would try to make her come outside sometimes, but she got the dog. Yeah, they shot her, she got a little story. <laughs> she, had a dog. she had a dog. Wasn't this fake dog story? <laughs> she, had a, she had a dog, we would always be like, Tasia, come on, come out, girl. Come over for drinks, for wines or whatever. Oh, girl, I can't. I gotta go home and walk my dog. Oh, yeah. Until we found Until we out. She, yeah. didn't have, she didn't have a dog. I yeah, yeah. I never know oh, you didn't have a dog. This morning, she didn't have a dog. Right. So, oh, for you didn't know she didn't, didn't have a dog know. either? I didn't know. They told me in the group. I, I said, that dog? There's no dog? No I was dog. I was sharpening up my acting skills. <laughs> <laughs> and they believed me. I said, baby, I got to get home and feed that dog. Oh. So, <laughs> I did it for a while, and all of a sudden she said, you ain't got no dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to tell the truth. But guess what? I talked it up so much, I have a dog now. Yeah. Yeah. You better have the dog. Oh, my. Lola. Tasia, what, is the dog named Purple? No. What's the dog's name? Lola. Oh, Lola. Oh, Lola. That's Lola. Lola. That is Kaziah's sister, and all they do is fight. Well, I'm glad you <laughs> actually got a dog now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and let me get to this. Did you wear your purple dress for Leonardo DiCaprio when you oh saw him? Oh, What was that like? I, I got a good little clip. Y'all got to see this. No! Oh, you know there. we got it. I was there You that know moment. we got it. Oh, <laughs> my God. Is that Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> this is too cute. Sorry. <laughs> Keep this in the film. Hi. Love you. Sorry. <laughs> Hello to everyone here tonight, and in particular, my new best friend, Fantasia, over there. Hey. I see. <laughs> the shout out is for me. Yeah. I shouldn't help it, Jennifer. I know. <laughs> you know, um, I grew up <laughs> watching Leonardo. I did it for all the girls. I heard you. I yes, I was going to say, I love him. So that's I your was man. Like, Papa, who this woman? <laughs> Fantasia. <laughs> so you owe me just a conversation with him, a handshake, a look, please. I, Tell her to give you his out. phone number. So you yeah, you know, hook, a, hook us up. No, I was up. standing there when that moment <laughs> oh, happened. I had, I had introduced, <laughs> I was there to introduce Fantasia at the Variety Women, and I saw her. And she was so, started out, and she was just so moving with her comments about where she's been in life. And then she sees Leonardo, and I was like, focus, 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 focus. On our way off stage, she was pulling me like, let's go. Oh, come on, let's go. Keep the focus, keep the focus. But I just, I couldn't help myself. You've yeah. been in some amazing rooms lately. Yes. We've all been watching. So have you gotten used to it yet? Like. Even you, Felicia, you know, the places you guys have been now and I mean, even the here, this seen? is still a dream, a total dream come true. I could never, you know, I know you're big into manifestation. Yes. I wrote it down the year I got cast that I want to be in a movie musical. When I heard it was the color purple, my grandmother had just passed mm. away and I saw the audition notice and I was like, whoa, this is going to happen for me. Oh my, even when, I, when they told me no at first, yes. I just went back and I wrote down, I will be Seely. I will be Seely. I've been auditioning since the Broadway show and like for it to come full circle, this time is, yes. Oh, the men of the color purple will be joining us next. Y'all get ready. We'll be right back. We're back with the women of the color purple and now it's time to bring out the men of the film. Please welcome Comey Domingo, Corey Hawkins, and the director, Blitz Bazagula. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta start with you, Blitz, because I mean, you, you're the director of this whole thing and it's amazing. Wow. What inspired you to reimagine it? Well, first, I mean, what a privilege and honor to be here with, with my lovely cast producer. Yes. Yes. 
They saw something in me, uh -huh. certainly. Um, I'd made a, a small movie in Ghana for $40,000 of my own money called The Burl of Kojo. Uh -huh. And that film, thanks to the incredible Ava DuVernay, got onto Netflix. And the incredible Beyonce saw that yes. and hired me to do Black is King. Come on. And then, within that same window, Oprah Winfrey, Scott Sanders, Steven Spielberg. Um, he's the one. I was gonna say, how did he's you the know? One. Like, he's we were the all one. on a Zoom, and we had already looked at like five <laughs> other directors' uh, potential. And when he made the presentation with his storyboards and the reimagined idea of magical realism and getting inside Seeley's head, we were texting each other going, he's it, that's it, slam dunk. That's you it. just know yeah. when you know. I was like, end this meeting right now, this is over. That's I, it, I, done and what? done. That is amazing. And then Coleman Domingo, my yeah. guy. Yeah. Woo! You are on a roll this year. Oh. You're just doing awesome. But now your mama prayed you into this. She, she used to, what she used to write letters to Oprah? <laughs> yes, yes. She manifested this moment for you. Yes. Explain that to us. Okay, I'll explain this to you. My mother was just a, 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 a woman of faith, and she, her faith yes. was in watching the Oprah Winfrey show. <laughs> and she, 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 she would watch it on the daily, and you know, Oprah is one of the most generous human beings on this earth, and she would say to me, you know, you know why I wrote uh, Oprah today? I'm like, why? She said, because I know she could help you. I just want her to know. I love that. Said, Oprah, I love why that is she going to help me? I, anyway, <laughs> years later, um, I realized she, she wrote to Oprah at least six times. Wow. And, then, wow. and then I happened to tell this beautiful woman on a hike with her, because it dawned on me. I said, oh, wait a minute. My mother wrote to you six times. And I realized that her letters got answered. Mm -hmm. got in, her letters and her prayers. Yes. Wow. This is clearly all meant to be. More with the cast of Color Purple. We'll be right back. And we're back with the cast of Color Purple. Hearing that story, hearing your story, and obviously y'all's, and then you, Corey, you and Danielle went to school together. I don't yeah. know that, man. <laughs> <laughs> And now listen, you're listen. in the film together and... <laughs> we, we made that whole story up. Is this just uh... <laughs> No, uh, we, we were students at Juilliard together years ago. 18, 17, 18 years old. Yes. Um, you know, young black college kids, broke, rolling around <laughs> on the college floors. And, and, and we looked around the room and we saw each other, you know, yes. mm -hmm. um, in a room where not too many people in the world, well, not too many people, mm -hmm. look like us. Um, and so we leaned on that back then. When we graduated, we struggled, you know, yes. when we, 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 but we worked and we persevered and we kept those dreams moving forward more than all these years later to be sitting here to be her. Yeah, look at God. Look at yeah. God. What uh, God has done. There you go. He, there makes, you go. he, he makes absolutely mm. no mistakes. Mistake. That and gave me shines chills. in this film. Yes, I'm she did. And so do you. Yes. All of you. It's such a joy of my, one of my career to work with you in this way, Corey. I love it. We've, like, been, you've been a shoulder for me to lean on mm. this entire way through every mountain and valley, and mm. I thank you, my friend. Wow. And everybody for hiring him. Y'all about yeah. the work. The work in it. Now, Corey, tell me, you play Harpo, right? Yeah. And tell me what your audition was like. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that was hot. We want to hear about that. Corey, this is Corey. We're ready. They all want to hear yeah, let's hear yeah. about it. Oh, it was so, it was so long. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> How did you get cast first, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were cast first. God can do it. <laughs> God can do it. <laughs> No, I, I, I received a call. Um, I, I work with Scott Sanders on In the Heights, um, where I got the opportunity to sing and dance, something I've never really gotten to show, you know. Um, and at the end of that, I got a call from him um, saying that um, he had talked to Oprah, he had talked to Spielberg, he had talked to Blitz, more importantly, he had talked to Alice Walker. Um, and I got a beautiful note from Alice Walker about being her Harpo, which, which oh my God. just blew my mind. Um, I hung up the phone. And my first call back to Scott, literally, I pushed Reed down, you know, call him right back. And I was like, so Sophia, you know, who's, who is Sophia? They were like, well, we're still working. I was like, it must be Daniel Brooks, right? Mm. Um, mm. And must be. that was my, you know, my intent from day one was just to lift her up. 
and and to lift these women up. She's a crier. I already know. You know, I know. it. I ain't no. I ain't I grabbing no tears. I, I ain't know. doing it. I ain't doing it. Sure? You sure? You sure? Yeah, no. But like, I do, you deserve every. I do want to say this though. These women, all of them, have a lot to carry um, yeah. as 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 these characters on this film. They right? They have a, a huge load to bear. Um, but when they put that down at the end of the day, they have to go and be black women in life. Yeah. And so it is a, it's important it. for us to, to lift them. And we yeah. talk about that as, as the men in the cast to mm. support them on their journey. And that's, that's our intent and that's, that's our goal. And I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of that journey. Y'all did. Yes, all three of you, all three of you. It really shows, it pops off the screen. Like the chemistry, the love, you know, the unity y'all have. That's so important. This man, he handpicked us all. Mm. He did that. I don't know how he knew um, God must have came through well, you. I, I always say, you know, I, ca I, I cast auras. I Ooh. love that. You know, I don't, I, I, got know, chills. I, cast, I cast energies and auras. Energy. Like you picked cast. the right director. Come on. <laughs> we did, we did, we did. More with the cast of The Color Purple. We'll be right back. We're back with the cast of The Color Purple. Come on, y'all. <laughs> we got a Mr. This, this round with some swagger. I remember watching Ooh. the daily. And I said, I, I said, I called Coleman. I said, you riding that horse. Uh, yeah. He yeah. rode that horse. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. You riding that horse and playing that banjo and you. talking at the same time. You. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It looked like you was pit walking. <laughs> Talk about you understood the assignment. Yeah. Right. Listen, listen, I was charged to really take a look at this character in a very new way. Yes. How can we make him as complicated and human, and also for him to be a dreamer as well, mm -hmm. as someone who may have had his dreams deferred. Yes. yes. And this is why he puts his foot on the neck of someone else. Mm -hmm. So we can understand how hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I mean? So he's just not villainized, and you can just write him off. You know, you yeah, have to art. actually look at him and find that arc. And also that helps support her arc of like, her redemp the redemption arc, mm -hmm. where she has enough grace. Yes to yes. forgive her oppressor. Yes. Mm. But Marcus Gardley, our wonderful writer, gave you an opportunity through the character to be able to express his humanness. Yes. That moment coming out of the jute when yes. you and the, the yeah. you all have that loving moment. Mm. Yeah. We have a moment where you, where you finally, you see an opportunity that where there could have been tenderness and yeah. softness. Mm. Yes. Right. Yeah. But because of toxic masculinity, I love, there's just that one small moment with, yeah. with Corey and I where suddenly you see that possibility of what the father and son could have been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then he dismisses that yeah. and continues to go off. And, I, and so that's part of his journey. I have yeah. to say, Alice Walker came to visit us on set one day. Oh my goodness. And that was a nerve wracking day. I, yeah. Because you I go, the oracle you. is here, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what did you show her? I showed this moment you talk about, oh. where, where Mr. Lace's head on Harpo's chest mm. and says, you done, you done good, boy. You done good. Mm -hmm. And that moment, I hear sobbing behind me. And I go, oh, it could mean one of two things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Either I have screwed up royally, oh, I dig it. and Alice Walker is upset, <laughs> yes. or I have moved the woman who wrote this beautiful work to tears. Mm -hmm. And she wrapped her hand around me, laid her head on my shoulder, and sobbed. And that takes me to that iconic dinner scene. Ooh. Like, what was that filming process like? Oh, Two moments of that, of that uh, dinner scene that I am deeply moved by. One is the arc that you play. Yes. Thank you. From that laugh to that cry, yes. I mean, my God. Thank you. And then the last moment is when everybody leaves that table and it's just you and Lou Gossett Jr. The great yes. Lou Gossett Jr. It, that was powerful. The legendary. And the camera just stays with the two of you. And I think in that moment, we observe what this whole mess has been about, mm. generational trauma. Mm, yeah. I love your passion. You're so passionate about it. Yeah. it, it again, it, it comes through. Now, Oprah, I have to ask you, what was it like seeing that scene and you portraying that scene? You know what oh, I mean? back in 1985, mm. we also shot for three days that scene. Mm. And you know, you start out with a big dinner table. By the third day, the peas are going rancid. I could smell them. <laughs> so, Y'all need to change these peas out of here. Mm -hmm. But it was the day that I most remember that I became an actress mm -hmm. because I had sat there for three days, just literally rocking in the chair mm -hmm. and giving myself over to the character. Mm -hmm. And I was the last person shot at the table wow. of the three days. And mm -hmm. I only had one line yeah. and ended up <laughs> ad-libbing the other line. So I had one line where Harpo says, how you feeling, how you doing, Miss Sophia? Mm -hmm. And I said, doing all right. And then 
I continued to rock. And Stephen said, tell us how you felt when you saw Miss Seeley in the store. Mm. And I just started to ad lib wow. when I seen you in that wow. store, Miss mm. Seeley, that day. Da, 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 da. Wow. And so that, I remember that wow. as the day wow. I Wow. Oh, that's the day wow. I Thank you for sharing that with us. Come on. Wow. Did you share any of that? Did yes. you pull from any of that? Was moved. Wow. Yeah. I was moved. And there was moments that we were looking to cut certain things and we were, you know, doing table work. And I just kept telling Blitz, we have to keep this part in. Yeah. We have mm -hmm. to really to, of course, give reverence to Sophia, but to also honor that moment right. that you found. Yeah. Yes. That is so, that's the rebirth of yeah. Sophia. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like that's legacy. Everybody need to know that, yes. you know? Beautiful. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. so important. It's a yeah. part of us yeah. all. Yeah. All right. More with the cast of The Color Purple. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to The Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.